not or just add the inclination from the grade 11 and the grade 10 kind of concepts. But for us to get the gradient of the line, just get the turn of the angle of inclination. For you to get the angle of inclination, just get the arc turn of the gradient and then move on. Do not be stuck just because we have one coordinate point and then they ask you for the gradient. Here they give you an angle. Please use what is given. Read the question as far as you can. Try to understand. Properties of triangles are also applicable under analytical geometry. Okay, let's see if we can get the 90% of these marks. So in the diagram, A is, sorry, A, B, and C, and D, vertices of a trapezium. With a trapezium, you only have one pair of parallel sides. Eh? A, B is part of that, E is that, of A with X intercept of that, the inclination of alpha with K that lies, A, B, 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 B. good. 3.1, they want the midpoint of E, C. E, C. Now, someone once asked me that, now there's no line between E, C. Just imagine if there was a line there. Why, of course, we just sketch it, but there's no point of sketching. Let's get the midpoint. Not that midpoint, get the X. Negative 2 plus 2 over 2. Okay, do the same with the y. It's 0 plus negative 3 over 2. So which means it's a 0 and then a negative 3 over 2. So it's somewhere there in between. If I'm to draw that point, that line, there. that is your midpoint. Okay, then the gradient of dc, gradient of dc. So gradient is changing y over changing x. Please and please do not switch the values. Some people use changing x over changing y, which is wrong. So label this as your x1, y1, x2, and then y2, then do the substitution. So we normally prefer to use y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So minus 5 minus minus 3. Mm, I don't need this person, that's fine. And then uh, x, we say it with minus 2 minus 2. So when I simplify this, I'm going to have a minus 5 plus a 3. Over minus four. That gives me negative two over four, which is negative. But why am I getting a negative? Yet the line is having a positive gradient. Oh, oh that's my problem. Okay, so this is a negative two of a negative four, which is a half. Okay, the line is increasing, so the answer has to be positive. So I'm getting a half there. Then uh, the next one, next one, next one, next one, they want the equation of AB. Now, we know that AB is parallel to CD. And for as long as the lines are parallel, the gradient of AB must be the same as the gradient of CD. So we have a point here. We're going to say y minus 0 is equal to the gradient, which is a half, into x minus minus two. So y minus zero is a y. Okay, that's going to be a half x plus one. If I simplify that. Okay, so which makes my point b to be zero and one? Because I know that this is the y axis and x is always zero. So that is zero and one. What's the next question asking for? They want us to get the angle of inclination. So the angle of inclination here, we can obtain it using this gradient here. Remember we say to get the angle, alpha is the shift, turn over half. Okay, so shift, turn over half. What we get from the pipe letter, we're getting 26,57. What was the question asking for? They wanted theta. But what I have is the alpha. Okay. Now, for me to get the theta, how does this theta relate with the alpha? How do they relate? So if I were to flip this page, which I don't want to do, let me see if I can flip it. Yeah, let me leave it. So if I flip it in that form, I can see that this theta is an exterior angle of this and this triangle. OK, 
Okay, so which means alpha plus 90 will give me the peak. So then, let me unclip it. So which means that uh, it's going to be 90 plus alpha. The okay, alpha plus 90 must be the circuit. So 26 from a 5, 7 plus a 90. You get your theta, which is 116 comma 57. Answered. Then, can you prove that AB is perpendicular to this? AB is perpendicular to this. Okay. Now, um, coordinates of B, you have to state them first because you have the equation of the line, you have the y intercept as 1, and all of that. Please and please do not tell us that uh, the angle is 90. The question is asking you, can you prove why that angle between the two lines is a 90? Okay, so what we know about um, perpendicular lines is that uh, what we need to do, that if we get the gradient of AB multiplied by the gradient of BC, we should be able to get a negative 1. Okay? So this is what the question is asking for. Can we get the negative one? If that is true, then we prove that the line is perpendicular. So we already have the gradient of AB, which is a half. Okay. All we need is the gradient of BC. So 0, 1, 2, negative 3. 0, 1, 2, and negative 3. So gradient of BC is going to be changing Y over the change in X, which is going to be negative 3 minus 1 over 2 minus 2. It's going to be negative 4 over 2, which gives me negative 2. So if I get negative 2 times my a half, I get negative 2. Then tell us that since the gradient of AB times the gradient of BC is giving me negative 1, therefore AB is perpendicular to this. Is it AB perpendicular? Mm -hmm. That is what you do. Then, um, with the next part, are telling us that E, B, and C lie on the circumference of a circle. E, B, and C. E, B, and C. So these points, they lie on the circumference of a circle. Please and please, just imagine there's a circle there passing through those points. This circle of mine. Fine, E, B, and C are lying on that. But what we just proved was that there's a 90 there. Okay. Then uh, they want us to get the center of the circle. So we know that uh, if that is true, then this EC is going to be a diameter. EC will be a diameter. And if E C is a diameter, the midpoint M that we got will therefore be the center of that circle. So what did we get for N was zero and negative three of two. So zero and negative three of two. That will be the solution for that. And then the equation of the circle in this format. So since we have the center, we all we need is just the radius or the distance. So it's your choice. Either get the total distance divided by two, or you can get just the radius alone. So if I try to get the distance, zero, negative three over two. What is that going to be? What's that going to give me? So I'm going to say, mm hmm. Let me use negative 2 minus 0 squared plus 0 minus minus 3 over 2 squared. That will give me my r squared. So that's a 4 plus 9 over 4. That is 16 plus 9 over 4. It is 25 over 4. That's my r squared. Then I'll just go back and say x minus 0 squared 
and then y plus 3 over 2 squared must give us 25 over 4. So it's x squared minus plus y plus 3 over 2 squared. Something like that.